Well, looking to build my bed frame to work around my air conditioning setup here that I do plan to keep because I have four children who will want that air blowing towards them. So I'm just thinking it through how best to uh, lay this out. This is a straight DIY. I'm no woodworker, so we'll see how it goes. Well, fun times. Apparently, if you build this out side and then try to put it in your van, if it is not a tall roof van, it won't fit. I take it apart and I bent the little corner things. Ah, at least the holes are already in the right spots. Goodness. All right, after that initial uh, moment of Temporary destruction. Looks like I got this thing pretty solid for the moment. Putting the top on, I'll of course help make it a bit more rigid. Might put a few cross beams in there. We will see. I do have children. Gotta make things rugged. Got my big buddy here, ready to help me with some uh, measurements and cutting. I'm trying to go with these boards. I don't know yet that it was the right choice. I still have to cut them instead of plywood for several reasons. I was hoping to have little air gaps between the slats, but I think maybe I measured wrong because even with five of these things, seems like a different uh, measurement between boards than I thought. See that gap? Alright, I gotta remeasure. Alright, time to do some cutting. Alright, so this is how my planks are looking. I haven't screwed them down yet because I want to test it. And see if these gaps, they're about two inches a piece, are too wide for the mattress material we have. Obviously, if it's like a real mattress or like a really, really dense foam, it wouldn't be a problem, right? You're not going to feel it anyway. But, uh, got to test it out first. But, stoked on how it's looking. And with some planks instead of plywood, they felt light. So, I don't know if that, I already had something like that. That one piece by the back door there from when we had the old bench. That's how we filled in the gap by the door to give a little more space on the bed and uh, a little storage when we're driving. So I was familiar with this stuff, but uh, felt strong. Made it through one 5,000 mile trip. So we'll see. All right, so here's the update. Our goal. Now that there are six of us, we've had a fourth kid now, so for short trips we want to be able to camp sleeping with three girls on the floor, my wife and I and a baby. So I use like uh, 10 inch planks. I don't know if that was the greatest idea, but it kind of got started and I just had to go down that path. I was going to put slat, uh, slots, gaps, in between the slats. But I didn't because you felt you could kind of feel the holes when you <laughs> laid down. Not with this mattress, with another foam. So this is actually a queen uh, folding mattress that we got. So of course, instead of running it lengthwise of the van, we're running it side to side with the little, the last little piece propped up there so we didn't have to cut it. A little double use for us. It's great. Super comfy. Stoked on that. And of course we can fold all of this up out of the way if we need to. Oops. Anyway. Still some projects to work on but 
Got plenty of storage under here. I made this 14 and a half inches high so that I could put those, uh, you know, black and yellow bins from Home Depot or Walmart under there without any issue. Slide them in. So, plenty of room now. Stoked. Can fit all my children. <laughs> Still go camping with the van without taking the trailer. My encouragement to everybody is that if I, with my minimal, you know, construction skills. Oh yeah, I got my light under here. Yeah, stoked on that. If I can do this, I'm sure you can do this. If you have any woodworking skills at all, you can do it. Because <laughs> I had none. And I still did it. All right. Hope you're stoked on that. Because I'm stoked on that. All right. Later.